In today's video, I'm excited to unbox a brand new pair of shoes from Gaziano and Girling. It's been a while since I've purchased a new pair of shoes, it seems like, especially with not being able to travel to my favorite places and see uh, my shoemakers. Uh, and so uh, the itch just got too much for me. And so in the absence of traveling, I decided to splurge on a nice uh, pair of shoes from Gaziano and Girling. Uh, these are a pair of Stanford shoes, and let's unbox these and take a look at them. Absolutely beautiful. Again, great packaging from Gaziano and Girling. Uh, they, uh, one of the details I like is with the shoes that they ship, they actually include, uh, include a little bit of a foam insert, if you will, to help prevent any type of scuffing or damage uh, in transit. Uh, very well packaged, of course, and their beautiful shoe box. Nice and sturdy. Very similar to the one that we sell on KirbyAllison.com. Uh, and all of Gaziano's shoes come with an extra pair of laces, uh, a pair of uh, really well-made shoe bags, uh, with their logo on it and this is a micro suede and then here a little bit of information about how the shoes are actually made this is entitled principles for making the finest menswear shoes in the world and let's be honest Gassian on Girling absolutely hits the mark there so um, there you go yep a little bit of care instructions also so let's look at these Stanfords uh, first allow me to lace them up Okay, so here we are, the Stanford, a beautiful split-toe derby. Uh, now, what are these shoes? Well, beautiful casual shoes for odd jackets and outfits, brown trousers, maybe even a pair of chinos or jeans on the weekend. Look at these beauties. So here uh, is a photograph of me wearing an odd jacket from Davidge Bespoke. It's a nice kind of blue melange with a, a, a brown window pane. Uh, I'm wearing it with a pair of, um, of these would be oatmeal dorme trousers, very lightweight linen silk blend. Uh, and these Stanfords go absolutely perfect with this outfit. Now there are a few details about this shoe that really just jumped out at me whenever I saw them on Gaziano and Girling's Instagram that made me really say, I need these shoes. First, I love the hatch grain. Now look at the beautiful pattern of this hatch grain. Uh, it gives great kind of visual texture this, uh, to the shoe. Uh, which is a great detail for kind of a casual pair. It's not smooth leather, and I really like that. Of course, it's a derby, which means it's, uh, that the lacing is, has open facing uh, versus a standard kind of uh, Oxford. Uh, this is indicative of a more casual shoe. It allows the shoe to accommodate uh, more sock uh, thicknesses, if you will, and also accommodate the swelling that may happen over the course of a long day. Now, some of the details I love, again, look at the hand-stitched apron across the top. Uh, this isn't done by machine, it's done totally by hand, uh, and that detail can really be seen uh, in just, again, the visual detail of the way these two pattern pieces meet, and also uh, just kind of the texture, and then also kind of how it also lies uh, relatively flat. Another detail that I absolutely love is it's a split toe, uh, but it doesn't have that hand-sewn detail across the front of the toe. I generally find that to split the aesthetic too much of the toe, and so my favorite little detail is this kind of invisible blind stitch uh, where these two pieces of leather are actually sewn together on the underside, which creates this, you know, this kind of invisible seam, if you will. You still have kind of some of the aesthetic detail, uh, but it is not, it's not as a, you know, it's not as loud and as lot of, uh, not as harsh uh, kind of as what we have on the standard kind of apron. Following the detail around, again, beautifully well lasted, exactly what we would expect from Gatsian on Girling. Absolutely incredible heel block. I love these more natural heel blocks because you can see these layers of leather uh, kind of build uh, on the heel stack. Again, nice fiddle-backed waist, beautiful outsole. Uh, but one of the other details that I absolutely loved about this shoe is it has a double oak bark tanned leather outsole. So again, thicker outsole. Again, great for a more casual shoe. It's gonna give more stability to the shoe, especially if you are walking, say, over cobblestone streets like in Florence or anywhere in Italy. Uh, this is going to give more stability to the shoe itself. 
and just greater wear and greater longevity from a nice kind of casual pair of shoes. So uh, look at these beauties. I can't wait to wear them. Uh, they look absolutely incredible. They smell great. I love the smell of a fresh pair of shoes that's just new out of the box. It's kind of like the new car smell. Well, you've got the new shoe smell, which I absolutely love. And here we are, Gatian on Girling Shoes. Absolutely beautiful a pair of Stamfords that I just added to my collection. This is my latest pair. So of course, let me know what you think of these beauties uh, in the comments section below. And if you haven't seen our Gatian on Girling factory tour, uh, where I went all the way to Kettering to the Gatian on Girling factory, and Tony, uh, Tony Gatiano and Dean Girling uh, gave me, kind of rolled out the red carpet, gave me the full tour of how uh, their uh, Goodyear welted uh, shoes are made uh, in uh, Kettering. Uh, check out that video. It's one of my favorite videos of the entire channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.